Hello friends, welcome to my art channel. My name is Alina and today let's paint some poppy flowers using acrylic. So let's get our three basic color ready. We're going to use white, yellow, and orange. If you don't have pre-mixed orange acrylic, you can always mix some yellow and red. So I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow and white uh, to lay down the foundation and the outline for all the petals on the flowers. I'm also going to add in a little bit of orange toward the center of the petal uh, and work outward. Continue laying the foundation for all the petals of the flower. Once the first layer is established, um, wait for it to dry and con continue to build more layers. Working with yellow acrylic is a little bit tricky because yellow by itself is very transparent. So it's hard to paint with just pure yellow. So with yellow, you the trick is to mix it with a little bit of white, make it a little bit more opaque, and then add on um, more layer. Um, I use the technique of wet on dry, so waiting for each layer to dry, then I put on more wet layer on and wait for it to dry and put more wet layer on, so on and so forth. So I'm going to use a teal color mixed with some white. And for the lighter shade, I'm going to mix in a little bit of yellow to lay out the foundation and the outline of the leaves as well as the seed pot. Because we are painting on black paper, I don't just want to leave the background or the empty negative space as black. I will use um, some blue mixed in with the dark green and will um, lightly brush the background of this painting to give it some dimension and color.
So as I'm adding more layers to these flower petals, uh, I'm, I will tell you a little bit about the inspiration behind this painting. So I was hiking up in the hill during the late spring this year, around early May, and I saw these beautiful um, tiny wild poppy flowers. Um, in California, which is where I'm living in Southern California, um, in these little mountainside, we see during the early and late spring, we would see these really beautiful tiny um, yellow orangey uh, poppy flowers and they would be they're very low to the ground and as you're hiking, if you pay attention, you will see them um, popping up uh, from the soil. So they are really pretty. Um, for the painting purpose, um, I magnified it as if you're looking with a, a 1.5 magnifying glasses. Because in reality, these flowers are very small. But the painting, for the purpose of the art display, I magnified it and make it a little bit bigger. So um, for more details. So there's the background story of um, where did I get the inspiration for this painting. After letting the painting dry overnight, I came back the next day and the next day was just me um, adding more layers to the petal and um, make sure that the yellow paint um, does represent as close to the real flowers as possible. So I'm struggling a little bit on the session number two because yellow is Yellow acrylic is quite difficult to paint um, and to match the color. Just the nature of yellow paint is very translucent and it's hard to replicate um, as close as possible to the reality of the flowers. So here I am uh, working, adding, mixing, and just adding more layers to the painting um, for the entire second day, second session of, of this piece. actually four days after the second day so it's like it take me almost more than a week to finish this painting just because I didn't like the way the color uh, look on the painting versus the actual painting the actual photo that I took on the hiking trip um, so I left it alone for several days and then came back four days later and work again on the painting so um, here I am again, adding more color to uh, the piece.
So the lesson here is that when you're painting and you get stuck, just leave it alone, walk away, um, forget about it, come back the next day or two days later, three days later, in my case, four days later, and then work on uh, the piece again. And that's a uh, helpful tip and it works out in the past for me. Um, some of my painting I still haven't finished, especially the very large piece. Um, like the bigger pieces, it um, would require a lot of details. Some of the painting I haven't came back to after two years or three years. So <laughs> after three days, it's still a short time. So it's no problem. <laughs> um, so after I came back, I work on it and I really enjoy how it looks. So. I'm gonna be happy and content with, with that. Thank you so much for following along with me on this tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, I would appreciate your support as well as it will help my channel grow. Um, once again, this painting will be available on my Etsy shop. Um, I will post on it shortly. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next painting tutorial. Bye-bye.